Welcome to Focus Washington. My guest today is Catherine Hilker, who supervises academic development projects for Stonehill Education globally. Now, Stonehill Education has partnered with the government of Equatorial Guinea to launch an American University of Central Africa. Thank you for being here with me today to discuss this. Thank you for having me. Now, what is this going to mean for a country that has an adult literacy rate of nearly 100%? Mm -hmm. it, How it, does that work? It's interesting. Education is very strong in Equatorial Guinea. Public education has been a priority for the government there for many years. Um, but what's different about the American University of Central Africa is it's a university with an international focus. Um, and Equatorial Guinea is, is a Spanish-speaking country, the only one in, in the entire continent, actually. So it's isolated a little bit linguistically. And part of the initiative to start this American University of Central Africa is to give the people there a degree that will be recognized around the world and an education that they can use anywhere in the world. I was going to ask you that. Why is it necessary? It's um, part of, yeah, and part of this necessity comes from the fact that it's a Spanish-speaking country and, and so this literacy, their literacy is, is very high and their education is very high, but, but to have a degree and to, to acquire English language skills and, and have a degree that they can use anywhere in the world, that's, that's a, a big part of the reason. For but what does Stonehill too. contribute? What is the, the con contribution you yeah. make to the country? Well, the, the, I think the biggest, the, this, this project is very, very ambitious from the beginning. And um, to, to have an, an, a university in Central Africa of international standards, of international quality, it's a very, very exciting project, but a very ambitious one at the same time. And what Stonehill brings to the table, among other things, but what um, is the, the international focus, the international recognition. So. We have partnerships with international universities. Um, we have the ability to recruit faculty and staff from all around the world. Um, and, and we are seeking international accreditation both in the US and it, with European accrediting bodies. So those, among other things, are some of the ways that, that Stonehill Education is helping the people of Equatorial Guinea. What kind of specific courses will you be offering? There's a, a wide variety of courses, but the, the priority is on industry-specific needs. Um, so there's we have eight different colleges and 34 different degree programs, but um, many of them are focused on needs. This will be eight different colleges within. Correct, eight different faculties. Ex okay. I, no, I'm so w within the one university, okay. eight different faculties, mm -hmm. and then within those eight faculties, 34 different degree programs. Um, so everything from arts and sciences to engineering and chemistry, science, all kinds of different degrees, but. But the main focus on it is on industry needs. What's it been like working with the educational ministry there on this? It's, it's been really great. It's been very rewarding. I think we've, uh, we're in constant contact with the Ministry of Education as well as other ministries in Equatorial Guinea, um, just all trying to work together to realize this amazing project. Well, will this help? The, I know Equatorial Guinea has been looking for investment in Africa and, mm -hmm. well, in the continent in itself. How will this help? At Stonehill Education, we've been working with um, the private sector, private sector including international companies that are already present in Equatorial Guinea. And what we've been hearing from them from day one is that there is a big, a lack of skilled labor in the country um, that they need in their specific corporations. So the American University of Central Africa, I think, will help fill this gap, will help support these international corporations that, that want to work with local labor, but that want to, want to use um, local work workers, but, um, but you know, to help fill the gap in the skill. So there will course. be an outreach outside of Absolutely. Equatorial Guinea, so on a wider basis. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm Chuck and Coney. This has been Focus Washington.